What's up, YouTube? This is Two Bro Car Guys. Welcome to our channel. What's up YouTube? It's your boy David and uh, I am number one of two bro car guys. This is my budget build beater. Um, bought this car for $8.50 technically. Spent an extra 50 bucks spending it, giving it to the guy so he would smog it for me because I didn't want to deal with that. Um, yeah, I actually bought this car specifically because my truck kept breaking down and I had a Ford F-150 and well we all know Fords. Except for my buddy Mark over here. He, he loves his Ford. I hated my Ford. But that's fine. We all like each other's stuff. Um, so, basically, my plan for this car was never, ever to build it. Never. N not whatsoever. That would have been the farthest thing from my mind ever in my life. Um, it's a 1990 Honda Accord CB7. Um, single cam. But it's five-speed manual, so I was having fun with it, decided let's do some extra stuff to it. Um, it already came with the wheels on it from the previous owner, which happens to be my mom's friend. Why he put wheels on his car, he's like 55, I have no idea, but he did. Um, I'm running Falcon G4 Pro 2s. Pro G4s. My bad, scratch that. Um, and... Uh, yeah, I actually ended up taking this car to my school when I was at El Camino College, and um, I was doing auto body repair and paint, and I ended up painting this car, um, and don't don't call me weird, anything weird or anything like that, or don't hate on this, but the color code is called Majestic Purple, so I'm majestic. Um, I uh, Then I started buying parts for this thing, and that was when it all went downhill from there. Um, Everything on this car has been bought for extremely cheap. Um, I have a Sparco Sprint. Sparco Sprint? Is it a V? I don't know. But it's a Sparco Sprint seat with race clip harnesses, which are also purple because they match the car. And uh, I have a driven steering wheel on the interior as well. Um, done a couple of things. Uh, I did gut the whole car. The whole rear of the car is gone. Um, not rear of the car, my bad. The rear interior of the car is gone. But uh, I have also put strut tower bars on both the front and rear. Um, nothing is done to the engine. Absolutely nothing, unless you count painting the block. Uh, I do have an AEM intake that I had to, had to modify and hack up for it to actually fit around my battery because, well, these cars aren't really that well known for parts and aftermarket parts and all that stuff. Well, lucky you, Mark. Um, but... Um, other than that, yeah, nothing else is really done to this car, but it's a fun car. It's my budget build beater, and the uh, whole point of this build, and this channel for this matter, is we just want to show you guys how to go out there and have fun with a very low cost. Um, like I said, 800 bucks, 850, 900, 900 bucks for the car. And then a max of like maybe like three hundred four hundred dollars worth of parts on this car um, the seats I actually bought really cheap because some guy didn't know how to take the seat brackets off of his car so he sold me them with the seat brackets um, cool beans for me because I got really cheap seats and they're brand new they're actually certified until 2019 or 2020 um, so the seats certified the seat belts aren't but whatever um, yeah um, we're just 
building our cars. We're going to show you what we're doing to our cars. How's it going, everyone? My name is Mark. I'm the number two guy of Two Broke Car Guys, and this is my car. So, what we have here is my 2000 Ford Focus ZX3. Um, it really started out as just a daily driver because I had a Toyota Camry, and unfortunately, that got stolen. So, I ended up buying this. It was around the corner, had a lot of issues. Uh, and then when I finally got it running, I started coming up the canyons, kind of taking it for a spin. And slowly but surely, it kind of morphed into what it is now from just coming up the hill, driving a lot, watching race videos, things like that. Uh, what inspired me to kind of do things to this ZX3 and kind of build it up a little bit more was watching like old rally films. So when you watch like the old rally videos from to late 1998 to the 2000s, the Ford Focus was the replacement for the Escort Cosworth. So I was like, I was kind of inspired. I was like, yeah, this would be cool. So I started looking online, finding a bunch of used parts, rims, tires, uh, hood scoops. Surprisingly, there's a lot of parts for these cars out there, but not a lot of guys tune them anymore. There were a lot of SEMA cars back in the day, but uh, not a lot of guys like to really beat these things up. But in reality, they're actually a really fun car. Uh, so I've done little things here and there, uh, you know, lower suspension. The car sits on H&R uh, racing springs with KYB fully adjustable suspension. So nothing done power wise to the engine or anything like that. It's all bone stock aside from a, a functional short ram intake but it's also a short ram cold air as you can see with the venting this isn't just for show it actually does function uh, there's not much else about it i mean it's definitely a budget build the one downside to this car is that it is an automatic um, when i bought it i just needed a daily I, I lost my car so i needed to get something and this was the car that was there uh, my goal for the future is to switch it over to a manual and then maybe go from there and add a sequential gearbox and you know hydraulic handbrake to really get crazy with it but as of right now it's just my fun little automatic ford focus that everybody hates because it's automatic and you know that's what makes it fun that's what's funny because everyone comes up here and they're like why do you drive an automatic when are you gonna get a manual well i'm broke so what do you expect uh, but the goal is in the future you have a manual be able to really rally this hill even harder uh, i love to go over bumps and and jump the car hit the dirt and drift the car i like to really beat it up as you can see my car is not the cleanest let's be honest here it's not the cleanest car out there the hood is missing it's full coating it's falling apart but you know what it's a beater car and you gotta love the car that you own. You gotta love it, you gotta enjoy it, you gotta beat it up, thrash it, and when it's done finally, you junk it. But you know what, you at least had fun along the way, it was a good time, and you got memories with your little beater. So, this is Mark from Two Broke Car Guys, signing off. All right, thanks you guys for watching Two Broke Car Guys, we appreciate it. Please click the link below if you like the video, or even if you hate it, click the link below and subscribe to our channel. Hit like if you enjoyed the video, dislike if you didn't like the video. Either way, we want you to comment, we want you to let us know what you think, even if you hate us. Haters so, are welcome. Haters, yeah, haters are, welcome. are welcome. Go ahead, because we find it funny. So, thank you guys for watching. Like we said, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. All right.